my teapot just fell like oh gosh i was like trying to like scoot my packages over <sighs> not even the point it fell fell from here to here i'm kind of sad i don't this is my last teacup i'll have another teacup now you guys i'm so sad i look a mess but i need to get some packages and i know this is from like that um employee recognition site so the book i got is awakening fertility and it's the first book so this is what the book looks like and the back if you guys hear a noise in the background my um dehydrator is still going right now also i gave my cat like some like wet food and he's like attacking it right now he's doing so good he wasn't on my bed you guys the second thing i got was some like berkey um water replacement filters so expensive i feel like this is gonna be a journey so i'll probably do it Ugh, should i do it tonight i don't think i should change my filter tonight maybe on my day off i'll change my filter i don't know this is how you have to prime the filters and how you prime the filters you gotta like hold it it's a, it's, a, it's a lot not a lot it takes me like about 10 minutes to change it i just i'm gonna have to take it out i'm gonna have to wash it i'm gonna have to do all of the other stuff and i just got some co2 Ooh. oh okay so i just got some co2 because i did end up getting um a sparkling water like soda stream i actually bought two because i'm not sure like there's one that i really really want and it's like 119 dollars. i just think it would just fit my aesthetic better because it's like matte black um and then i also got another one but only because it has like a glass water bottle and the one that's like 120 it doesn't have a glass water bottle so i'm just gonna figure out which one i want and then return them they're both over a hundred dollars to be honest with you guys but I drink so much seltzer water that, sorry, I'm like inappropriately flashing you guys. I drink so much seltzer water that it's just like, it would just make sense for me to have a seltzer water machine. Like, it would just make so much sense. Oh my God. I do know it says that I have to keep this box. This is what the box I return or, return or recycle it in. Um, but the thing is, my seltzer water machine is coming in two days and then i think in four days i gotta double check but the first one i bought for 120 the matte black one that i've been like having my eye on for like some years now you guys that's the one that i'm like really excited about like i hope it's like small and compact because like all those soda streams look so ugly to me like it looks it doesn't look attractive all right I spent too much time on my soda stream hold on i got two of them for like 64 dollars so 64 dollars for this and then a hundred and well it's twenty dollars off it was like a twenty dollar coupon um and then a hundred dollars for like my soda stream or the other one that i got it was like 120 and also it actually comes with one of these um so i don't know i don't know oh my goodness both things that i got from off my employee recognition site came you guys i finally got one but it was like so cheap so i don't know if it works or not but this is what I got. It was like 20 real recognition points. Like I kid you not. I don't know if it made it in a vlog or not, but um, I got some more extra like bonus points and I bought um, for that awakening fertility book. And then I bought some Chinese like remedies to fertility book and which I'm so scared of. I mean, I'm not scared of, I'm just like, cautious of getting like maternity books and stuff like that you know yeah um until like i'm actually like you know pregnant and stuff like that i'm gonna try not to get stuff like that so and then my sister wanted some frying pans that i have so i ordered some frying pans and i ordered this um i think i ordered some more stuff i'm not sure actually i'm pretty sure i got like three books this and my sister some frying pans yeah yeah <laughs> all right so i'm gonna see you guys in a few seconds which will be tomorrow hi guys hello hi hi i just burnt myself with this um 
flat iron like on my hand and like right on my heel but like like that on both sides ah i hate to jump into the video with something so dramatic but oh my goodness it was so bad and it turns out that like um oh so about burns real quick did you know and I learned this from a chef, and it works for me. I don't know if it's going to work for everyone. But, like, if you get a burn, you're not supposed to put it in water. Like, you're not supposed to run it in cold water. Um, I mean, if you can. I'm like, you don't have toothpaste with you, then fine. But for, like, burns, it always wants to absorb, like, liquid to the skin. It wants to absorb liquid to, like, cool itself down. What you're supposed to do is put, like, toothpaste on it and, like, that white toothpaste. Like, that, that cheapo colgate toothpaste that um you're supposed to put it on it could be any toothpaste but colgate works the best i am told um i have i have crest so i put crest on it and it works too um <laughs> but you're supposed to put it on the burn and um that will like kind of like cool the skin and then also like don't give it any like liquids to absorb to get that puffy thing on it and i hate that puffy thing you guys i hate it so much because like it always bursts and then it burns so freaking much after so <laughs> if you put that on it will work too and then also my friend she's asian she said that her family puts like oil or something like that on on the burn i just put some tea tree oil on it only because like i'm about to go to work and i don't want to like because I have to put a sock on my hang on my cat on my heel so it's like that would be disgusting for me to walk around all day with so I decided to wear the red bow today mm -hmm. and I almost thought that I lost my little my earrings but turns out they were where they were I haven't been putting them where I'm supposed to put them so like if I would have lost it it would just have been my fault because I put them on my test my vanity and I have like everything on my vanity not everything but like my water's here it's just more chances for it to drop on the floor and be missing forever type of thing um just knowing me i will vacuum and not see it and it'll suck it up this morning i did um do a load of laundry um by the way i'm re-recording a lot of stuff i said because i have a feeling that like i'm just like crying and i'm just super emotional about burning myself during that morning clip when i was getting ready well putting my makeup on um i did end up doing a load of laundry but really i just wanted to wash this sweater here because that's my volunteering sweater and i'm volunteering in two days um and that sweater just I call it my volunteering sweater, but it's not a regular sweater. I could wear it any other time. But it's basically um, super warm in the winter time. In the colder months, I like to wear that because, like, it's so warm that, like, all I need is, like, a long sleeve shirt and that sweater, and, like, I am good. It could be the same temperature it is outside as it is inside, and that sweater keeps me good. It doesn't keep me, like, warm if it's, like, the same temperature, but it keeps me, like, cool. I mean, it keeps me warmer. It just it just keeps me warm and I like wearing it and I don't want to like um, do like one load of laundry to wash one article of clothing so I just wash some more stuff there's like another long sleeve shirt over there it was kind of funny because like remember when I was telling you guys that like oh I think you could do like extra spin cycle but I've never needed it so I hit extra spin I thought I hit extra spin like for another spin cycle and I end up hitting the go button like the, the start button and water started pouring out so I was like no and I stopped it but like half of my clothes are super soaked so it's probably going to take like a full 24 hours for any of my clothes to be dry oh it's so annoying <laughs> it's so annoying I'm so annoyed that I did that with myself I mean did that to myself but look at my clothes is this something about like that smell of like your laundry that like makes me feel good it's weird it gives me like you know clean vibes like as you can see like my desk is still junky um that's my sock bag over there i haven't like put it up <laughs> i don't i haven't took a sock out there in like three days already and i just still there you guys still there um 
Oh, I finally got a honey, you guys. I got a honey from my advent calendar today. So excited. And apparently they're like blue topped. Uh, so that's how you know it's a honey. And what's freaking me out is it's on the back, like where it has like ingredients, it says non something honey i don't know but i don't know if i'm gonna do christmas at my place because my mom wants to do a christmas thing but ugh, i don't know i don't know and i got that big old ham and my mom doesn't eat pork or she used to not eat pork i don't know if she eat pork now again but i want to do like a honey glaze and i think it'll be fun to use like all the honey i got from the advent calendar to make like a honey glaze for my ham i think it'll be fun i mean i have honey in my refrigerator you guys seen a haul i, I probably hauled it i have not my refrigerator <laughs> i have honey already i just think it'll be nice to do it with the advent calendar honey honey but i think i need like about five of those jars so hopefully i get some more honey i'm happy because i just thought about it um now so i'm happy that like i didn't get honey previously because you know you know or you know what would be good like um that peach mint sauce on the pork mm, maybe maybe <laughs> i'm not feeling of interest enough to try it on like a big event like christmas you know and I cleaned my Berkey out, you guys. So, like, I'm going to clip this video in with the clips that I had, like, last night. Or you guys are probably saw it. After cleaning the outside of my filters, I end up submerging them in water overnight. My fluoride filter, I, like, filtered it out. But it turns out, I don't think that's a real Berkey filter. Because it doesn't look like any fluoride filter I've had before in the past. Whatever. Um... I don't think you guys know what I'm talking about if you don't have a Berkey. <laughs> but my fluoride filter, um, it like, I don't know if it is. I'm going to test it out and see, but I don't know, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It looks questionable. That's all I'm saying. It looks questionable. So I have it in the back. You can't see it, so I'm just draining it out. But... This morning, I like washed my Berkey, washed with hot soapy water, and I changed out my filter. You guys, the level of dirt on my filter was like unreal. Like I don't do a good job. I don't do a good like job showing you guys, but like just trust me, it was like pretty disgusting. It was like thick, you know. It felt like mascara type of thing. It's it's uh like when you like touch the mascara thing like you know and like that like hard. whatever it was bad <laughs> and I'm just so happy that I have my Berkey and it turns out that for the black filter change it every two to three years for the fluoride filter you change it every year and I used to have red dye but I don't have any more because dried out and I wanted to do the red dye test so the red dye test is you take some red dye you put it in like some water or whatever and then you try to filter it out through your Berkey and your Berkey should remove all of the red dye and that's how you know your system is still working you don't need to change anything everything is fine that's how you know with the red dye test but I don't have red dye so what I'm doing is having it like filter out for about uh, three times because I'm here for uh, an hour so my rule of thumb is to have it filter at least six times out when I have like a new system or whatever. <laughs> so this is the third time when I get home tonight, I'm going to filter it out again. I did pre-take out some water, some is in my refrigerator, some is here by my bed. So when I get home, I don't, I, I have water, I have filtered water to drink so it's fine so with that being said i'm going to end today's vlog now you guys will see me tomorrow and upload another video at 2 p.m and i'll see you guys in the comments below later you guys